All right, morning guys. So I've been gonna do this video all morning, but uh, I hadn't got to it yet. So y'all saw, uh, of course, my my video with Mark from Faradine. I got all that stuff ordered, and a lot of that stuff has come in. You saw all it in a uh, in a video. Man, we have some of the best looking optics and stuff in. Uh, there probably as many pistols as we've ever had. But today, Scott Ware, uh, Scott works with Outtech, and Outtech's probably the biggest rep group in the in the entire industry. Uh, Scott's going. Scott's going to be here today. I buy a lot of stuff from Scott Ware, and Scott's also one of my probably one of my best friends. I've been I've been doing business with Scott since uh, oh the. Well, this is probably my 12th, 13th year doing doing business with uh with uh, Scott. So he's coming in today. I think he's gonna be here. Uh he told me I just I just got off the phone with him. He'd probably be here around around lunchtime today. So he'll be here to, uh in a little bit and I'm gonna order a bunch of stuff for him. So y'all sit tight and kind of enjoy this whole ordering process with the uh with Scott and all the brands that Outtech sells. I might kill one like that. Mm. All right, so y'all done heard me talk about him, and there he is, the one and only <laughs> Scott. For Wayne. real, for real, for yeah, real. yeah. Look at all, look at these, these sticks. So there, that's that's my head grass cutting man right there. Mark, them are fine. Are they light? Yeah, they're light. Yeah. Lone Wolf makes them for for our company trophy line. Really? How much is that set retail for? Um, I love that. This is the that's that's the platform. This is one of the platforms. It's on a stick. That's one of that's one of the most popular ones. There, it's called the wingman. That's for the saddle. That's for a saddle hunter. Yep. And then this is one of the larger platforms. Um, as you can tell, it looks very similar stuff coming out of the Lone Wolf factory because mm -hmm. Lone Wolf's making it for Making it for them. And then this is, this is the ADP platform, which is the most popular. And you can see this particular one's had a little yeah, use on it. I've not been using it personally. And that's, uh, that one's awesome. That's the most popular. By it's far. so light. Whose is that? Trophy Line, Tree Saddle Company. These are the platforms that they make, or actually Lone Wolf makes them for them. It's, the same same company that's that coming around. Like it's coming right out of Lone Wolf. So Scott works for Outtech. Y'all have how many brands, Scott? Because I didn't know earlier when I when I, when I started yeah, my video. Yeah, yeah. I mean, total both divisions were you know forty plus brands yeah. for sure. And that's what I thought. Got the uh, you know the outdoor division guys kind of focus more on the gun side of things and the fishing and then side you, of things and just and then you got the archery, outdoor, yeah, and the hunting guys, which is what I do. Is, Pretty much focused on archery nowadays, yep. but pretty much all hunting accessories, tree stands, shooting houses, bows. And the name of the company is Redline. Now that's the new. Well, we're going let's let's just let's just wait on that, yeah, that on that, on the old Redline. That's a little different. Now this is yeah. Trophy Line. Which trophy is a tree Line saddle company that's been around. Actually, it's been around for a really long time, and um, we kind of got these. involved with them the last few years. They they've been just selling consumer direct the last few years but the category tree saddles in general is growing like no, crazy no. so they, they put together a dealer program and, and are, are bringing them to the market for the dealers to sell and uh i'm real excited about it it's pretty it's pretty awesome stuff they're making a few packs got a fanny pack and a backpack and, uh, this is their covert light saddle which is by far their most popular item covert light this is what I've used personally, and um, you know, it comes with all the ropes, the hanging rope, climbing rope, everything. And uh, they I make another one. It, most guys are using these. I mean, the yeah. saddle hunters are real crazy about the stick thing. Okay. You know, they make all kinds of gadgets to hook onto these oh, to yeah. extend the length and stuff. I personally use screw and step if I'm hunting on private land. Mm -hmm. We can yeah. use that without any problem, and I use a screw and step. But most of the guys are using sticks of some sort. But um, it, it's a crazy the logo. category. It's really doing there's well. The, yeah, the logo right there. So y'all can kind of all um look at that. So it's, it's so it's got a little ditty bag and all this, that stuff. Yeah, this is actually your tether rope that you would actually hang from. All black diamond uh, carabiners on everything. You um, hunted out of it? I have hunted out of it a lot. Um, my trip yeah. to Kansas this year, I hunted out of it. I don't know, probably eight or ten sets. 
-hmm. and a little bit in Kentucky. And but I, I killed a deer. That, I killed a real nice. Is deer it pretty year. easy once you figure it out? With my recurve in Kansas, I killed Did you? out of there. Do what now? Is it Slinger? pretty easy once you figure it out? It is, and it's like everything else. I mean, you definitely gotta practice on it a little bit. I mean, most everybody, first time, I, I get buddies and stuff, want to try it all the time. Yeah. And I'll literally, I'll hang this platform about that high off the ground where they can get up on it, get in it. Right. Because you kind of stand on this and pull your pull your your, uh, your 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 carabiner up to get it tight, and then you right. kind of sit and relax. And I mean. You'll sit like this or like this against a tree, or you can totally lay back. I, mean, I got one question. You got that thing, you got a big strap going right up your crotch. You don't, you never even feel that. I mean, these that two I... straps here, all right. okay, are going around you here and here, and you, you, there's no pressure there at all. See, that's what because I always it thought. On how you're hanging. If you're just totally free hanging, yeah. like not touching anything, but your body against the tree, right. then it'll get tight there. So for about $600, a fella could be he can be set up ready. He can go. be ready. And you know, you uh, JD brought up a good point. He said, you got to learn how to use the tree stand. That's that's true. And this is just something you'd have to, it, yeah, you'd have it, to learn how to do. Yeah, it's the same deal. But if you're comfortable with climbing a tree, whether you use step sticks, whatever, so this, it's not a big deal. So this, this pack will actually. It kind of accommodates everything. Yeah, yeah, the everything. platform will fit right in here. It's designed for that. Gotcha. Sticks on each side. And of course, you can put your... Uh, I, I so do you sell more of this size or this size? Well, this is a stick platform combination. I mean, we sell a lot okay. of these guys like this for sure. Um, you know, do more of, guys use four of those? And this can get a guy like our size. Yeah. You know, that's just a little bit stretching it out in the eighteen twenty feet range, no problem. What's the setup weight? You have any idea? Because, I mean, people will ask. Yeah, yeah. You know. I can, uh... Now, a guy can still use his climbing hooks, too, right? Climbing hooks as in... Spikes. Tree climbing yeah, spikes? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. a bunch of saddle guys using them. Yeah. I mean, I hunted on tree spikes for 20 years, and I finally grew out of it. But it was, uh... You use these right here? I, you know, my short sticks? I don't. Um... I use uh, screw-in. I really like it. Screw-in steps. I really like it. Which are the, the finest tree steps. Hey, that may work for a lot of them. I'll just use a regular step. Gotta have one. Gotta have one. And it for it's not for everybody. There's yeah. No doubt. No. I'm for, for somebody that's you know particularly younger guys that are mm -hmm. hunting particularly public land that kind of stuff, man, yeah. there is no better system out there. Uh, a, a question a lot of people ask me. So rea realistically, three hour sit, four hour sit, yeah, e easy, no problem, okay. no problem. Because you're constantly. You know, you can sit like this for a little yeah. bit, well, then you can get straight legged on it for a little bit, or get okay. over here. I mean, you, you know, and it sounds like, okay, you're moving around a lot, and you got the ability to move around a lot for sure, if yeah. you want to. But, mm -hmm. I mean, if you hear some stuff going on back over this direction, and you need, you're sitting like this, you need to be shooting over there. I mean, it's just a matter of easing over this way. That's pretty good. Get your bow over on Rifle the Rifle hunters can else. use them also. Absolutely. Yeah. Man, no doubt. I've always I, thought you could probably shoot off of that on the tree, off, of the, off that rope right there. I have you one, definitely can. One important question. I, I realize, you know, it's going to take some getting used to, and I, I trust them. I believe they're very safe, and you're nice and secure. All right. So here we go. So this is, this is what line, Scott's gosh. been been telling me about. This brand right here. Red line. Um, is a new archery accessory company called Red Line Bow Hunting. Yep. And their 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 focus today is, is certainly on um, just sights, quivers, stabilizers, peep sights. We've got uh we got the the big archery show coming up here in another ATA. Park, and we're yep. going to be introducing there a full line of soft goods as well, bow cases, uh, arrow cases, really some little equipment bags that's and stuff like that, that, some bow slings and just some stuff like that. But some really great price points. But basically the product line, you, you, you've you got the red line, obviously RL. So you got an RL3, which would be your opening price point. RL2 would be the next step up and RL1 would be the best. Um, kind of a good, better, best scenario through the sights, quivers, stabilizers, everything as, as we move along. They're all, well, these are obviously dovetails. So they'll fit inside the new riser. They, they the will. New Matthews riser. Yeah, yeah, they will for sure. Um, Grab that one right there. I don't know if you got one of those little bows around here. Oh, yeah. 
but uh yeah it'll 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 slide right in there and there's some um look at there pretty dang nifty right there yep a sharp it's a good looking site and i mean that site's gonna retail say for like 169 bucks really? that one yep Real excited about it. it's gonna do well for sure. Micro adjust, yeah. totally micro adjust, third axis, got everything single pin, yep. three pin, or five that. pin. So, one, three, or five. Yep, one site we have okay. in, the mark, in the marketplace today. Well, the thing about this yeah, site that's right a there, direct mount single pin, and we go, we also have this in a three pin. This whole base is carbon, this hmm. is a carbon based site, gotcha. which certainly drives the price up you always like it when a rep comes in and you always like it when a rep comes in he's got a bag like this and he said this is the only one that i got like this because that means i'm gonna get it <laughs> <laughs> now, this is an rl3 single pin direct mount that wow that looks super small done really well this is there's been more excitement behind this <laughs> site than, than any of them for sure um that site dude fit on that site Oh, if that site's got a retail of 139 bucks. This site? Yep. And Ooh, look at same that Same site, some three different colors. I don't know if y'all can tell. This is like a... So what color do y'all call this? Um, I don't know. Yeah. So what's the deal with all the holes? That's just different mountain holes? Different mountain options, yep. And those, so those sites are all exactly the same, just three different colors. So that would, that would mount... That's this your is your gun. Yeah. This looks really nice on that new bow, that new Matthews bow. Wow, I love that. And uh, color, I like the dark color. I do too. Yeah, I, I can see that. Yeah, it's just a green, gray, and a black. Sure. Look at that. And then, and then your RL. So, I'm so, so 99, 99, 59, 59, 59 and one, 139. Put, put, and this put, is a, in a six arrow or a three, either one. This is obviously the three arrow model, and that quiver will mount up to anybody's regular quiver holes. They don't, you don't Absolutely. have to. Okay. Absolutely. You got a lot of adjustment in here yeah. for back and forth. You've got adjustment right here for your kind of windage, moving it That's tight right. on the bow. People yeah. like it as tight That's on the right. bow as they can get them. Which I don't really understand that, but they and, do. Uh, so. The six arrow is really nice. Like I said, I've been shooting the six arrow hunting with it for. So I like this, weird. guys. So you know how I am about my quivers because I leave my quiver on. So you see and the. So do I. So you see the hood up here, and the grippers way down here. Very important to me because you don't have a bunch of boom, boom, boom. I always down shoot with down the here. Wrong. Yeah, and same the here. Six arrow one loaded up. I've been hunting with it since mid October, and it's awesome. Dead. Love it. Yeah. Yep. Dead yeah. quiet. No problem. Grippers are good and tight. These are micro diameter arrows. Yep. Hadn't had any issues with arrows popping out. I know somebody else who shoots them. Yeah. Since our outtake innovation, you know, door right. buster flyer deal. That's right. what, that's that. what'll be on there. You know, because CBE does kind of that same little deal with that with with one step with two stabilizers and then right and the little back brace. So. And, and that just gives the guy a pretty good price point where he can come in here and get in the get in some back brace stuff. Sure. So there's all uh, Look, uh, red line size, stuff. That's all slave, but business side, I like it. I mean, uh, I love the stabilizers. Uh, the site's got plenty of potential. I mean, we're excited about it. JD, I mean, it's another one of them deals with no box store. And I'm not saying it'll never be in box because it probably will one day if the company continues to grow, which we fully anticipate They all will. sell ourselves out at some point. Yep. But no internet sales. Um, as far as third party, you can certainly, I mean, I'm sure Lancaster will have it on their website, but it's got a map, full map program on every product. And, uh, we certainly won't have issues out of Lancaster there. No. The guys at Lancaster have helped. Are you going to have inventory this year? So we've got, if you guys, you know, put an order in today, let's just say, we'll, um, the first shipment will start shipping out into January, 1st of February. Okay. We've got product yeah. on the way. Micro adjust. The three new sites, which will include that Matthews site, and then we're going to roll out like a $69 and $79 site, which is basically, I've seen some cat. All right, so, that's it right there. so this is the new, you know, the green bow that we've sold so many of, and look at that site. I mean, it is 
it is almost identical and it actually kind of sets the sight and the bow off in in my opinion that looks pretty cool i love it that's sharp that just stick way. with the direct mount for the for the, the february order RL2s? yeah so let's get uh let's get which one was it looked so good on the green? This one? That one. Yeah. All that right, one so, looks good on that new bow, too. Yeah, let's get a... What do you think, J.D.? I'm thinking three, three, and three. Three blacks, February. three grays, three green. Yeah, that'd be good. Think so? Yeah. Yeah, so let's do... Okay. Let's do three, three, and three. Three of those. Three of those. Got it. No, you know what? I want two, two, and four, because I'll, I'll do more blacks. Two, two, and four. Cause my deal on the on the black sights is your rest is black, yeah. your sights black, your I quiver, you, you know, and it just it but just keep in mind how much people like something different yeah, than everybody true. else, exactly. for sure. And that and that sight certainly is going to stand yeah. out. You know, even on, the, on this boat. How does it look at a distance? You know, it does. Let's do two, two, and four, and then for the for the July, let's do six, six, and six. Of oh yeah, probably so. Hello. So ninety nine on this one retail. And then we've got. Okay. <clears throat> That's, this is the carbon one here. 169. So 99 and 169 on the on the on the two dovetails. No, this dovetail here is $99. Right. This one's 169. Yeah. That's correct. Okay. And then this direct mount carbon, how much? 199. Retail. Okay. So 99, 169, 199. And then direct mount here. Is, is 89 and 99. Three, pin five. Three and five. Mm -hmm. 89 and 99. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is all 7-1. How many sites do I have ASAP for the... For the do you want any of these now? No. Okay. I, that's what I'm saying. How many have I got coming now? Cause I got a good many sights over there. I don't. I don't. Eight. This is a good green, y'all. This is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. You got fourteen uh, coming for coming in, in February. February. That's plenty. That's plenty. All right, let's do uh, on these accessories. This is so. This is six, eight, and ten. Six. Eight's on my wife's bow, 10 and 12. But these are six, eight. Six, 10, 12. Six, 10, 12. Yeah, that eight inch one's on my wife's bow right now. I forgot to grab it before I left. Uh, Retail on the six is how much? 39. Max now, too. So this is a new B3 broadhead. Y'all have seen some of the stuff I've done on B3. That's a, that's a pretty wicked little head. It'd probably be rough on a deer, our deer around here. I imagine. Lots of sights. Really like these sights. So you look like y'all got a lot more releases then. Oh yeah. A bunch more. Ooh, I like that white one. Yeah, that was a Back tension idea. hinge. No, no. So this is just like the Exodus here. Field tip. It's oh, hey. like the really? Yeah, yeah. yeah these how come, many? How these many? Come the field tip that's, that's built and shaped like the broadhead. Oh, I can't no. wait till the first guy comes in. And says, man, that yeah. thing didn't. I didn't. didn't bleed it all. I didn't. I didn't go halfway in, my dear. <laughs> that's what I have now. Obviously, we paid for this one, and this is that's some they sent us. actually have demo wrote on them. 
Yeah. You didn't buy any hooks. Do you want any hook? Any uh, or claw? how many hooks I got down here? I have a lot of claws down here with the with the hook, Scott. To be honest, I don't I don't I don't do as many hooks. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get you a king demo and a rival demo. That'll okay. work. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve of those and twelve of the other ones. I don't have the max. That's a brand new one. Yeah. I just I, I didn't do great with these. I've I've had them before. Okay. But I think I can sell that for sure. All right, what else? That's about got this one, What is GPO? German Precision Optics. Um, a couple of dudes from Lycan. Yeah. Bender. Started it. Yep. And uh, I've got a sample of some ED glasses with me. This is the range finder. This is the range guide, but not bino. Right. Um, 8x50, 10x50. This is a $1,800 retail they've got which we'll have at the show and i don't have a sample i don't have a sample of this but they're going to roll this out in a 10 by 42 and an 8 by 32 with the range finder in it right eleven hundred dollar retail sixteen hundred dollar retail for a small compact bino <laughs> with a range finder that. built in it they, you know, they have to approve it but anyway basically this week you'll be able to go on there and buy anything off their website at 40 percent off if you want to get a saddle and a platform right and, yeah and i mean we we and that's just 40 off of retail so it's basically yeah. like dealer cost on it but yeah. at least we'll get you something here. this stuff or the tro the tree saddle stuff will not be available as far as delivered to this store this package until at best mid-may May? yep Okay. Uh, and reorders though, it's not online. You're just gonna call no, 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 you'll just call me. Yeah, 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 just like everything else. And once you're set up as a dealer, there's no minimum reorder. You can order one or something, whatever. You're good to go. I'm sure we'll, they, they've grown the company a lot as far as new products. The, the companies were on year three with the company. And, they are uh, pretty good with issues, customer service. Absolutely. Good. Yeah, Sean Ferguson's a guy. You can call him right now, Slade, yeah. talk to him. You guys would hit it off big time. He's really? a super cool dude, gotcha. hardcore hunter. Um, they're all about, you know, stuff you're doing with your YouTube right. and uh, any kind of social media. I mean, they're all about it. Hey, all right, guys. So we made the day. Lord, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a long day today. I had a lot going on. Uh, Y'all saw Scott Ware there at the store today. We got a lot of stuff ordered. I'm I'm really excited about the new uh, the new tree saddles uh, from him. We got coming the new site company. Uh, got that ordered. Got some B3 releases. I'm trying to think what I didn't get to show y'all. Uh, Scott also sells hunter safety system, so I got a bunch of hunter safety system coming. And then we went and grabbed some lunch. Uh, he also sells us Millennium Tree Stand, Banks Blinds, uh, a couple different clothing lines anyway, but just really, really busy day. I uh, hope y'all like all this, you know, the stuff with me sitting down with, with the, uh, with the uh, reps and, and getting the stuff ordered for, <clears throat> some of it will be for spring 2022, but most of it will be for fall 2022. So, hope y'all like the videos. If you do, hey, make sure you like, subscribe, uh, kind of like always. Uh, see if you can send one video that you really like to, to any of your buddies and we keep on building the Fanchers up. Thank y'all for following the Fanchers. We appreciate it a bunch. Christmas time is coming. The birth of Jesus Christ is near. So thank y'all and we'll see y'all tomorrow on Follow the Fanchers. Appreciate it.